Hello everyone, welcome to Dewey On Air. This is Mr. Butler. Today I am here with a very special guest, the most important stakeholders in our community, the PTA Parent Teacher Association. If you would like to introduce yourself, I'm so grateful that you took the time out to be here today. Hey pleasure, y'all. Pleasure to be here. Hi everyone, this is Olesha, uh, Olesha Shaw, the PTA President for 2023-2024 school year. This is Mike Abraham, uh, pretend to be the VP. <laughs> for the 2023-24 school year. Uh, this is Lavinia Batista. I am the PTA treasurer. Um, and Marcia Dennis, the recording secretary. All right. Awesome. And I'm I'm really happy that you took the time out to be here today and you're getting to experience what uh, so many of our students have been experiencing this year. We can get right into it. So can you tell us about the role of the PTA at our school and some of the initiatives that you've been involved in? Um, Take it away, PTA president or... Anybody? I, mean, I feel like our role as Parent Teacher Association is to be the voice of the parents and at times the voice of the students because sometimes they're not heard and or they don't know how to express it in a way that will be received by staff a lot of times. And also getting the behind the scenes so we know what information to give to parents, what can be shared or how it can be shared so it can be of value um, for everybody because it's hard to be in this thing you know we're fortunate enough to be able to come into the building and be able to help but not for everybody so we're here to get the information that they can't get on a daily basis so I think we're very vital and we volunteer so people who volunteer are even more important because we're we're not getting paid it's out of love that we love our children that we (laughs) absolutely we love our children we love everybody else's children um, you know, uh, we make sure that we take care of the kids when we're here. Um, you know, we do our snack sales on short Thursdays. Um, that was uh, something that we implemented last year. Yeah, yeah 2022, 23. And it's yeah. been um, pretty successful. Um, the students look forward to us being here on those short Thursdays. Um, and it's a way that we help raise money to give back to the school community. So we're actually just planning for teacher appreciation, which is coming up. May 2nd. And so um, how do we show our love to the school staff, administration and teachers? Um, and so we're figuring that out. But every every single dollar that we make um, comes right back to the school, whether it's to the teachers or to the scholars. It's awesome. You guys are at events. Um, yeah. you, you're doing you do amazing photography. You're really <laughs> a talented you. photographer. And um, yeah, it's 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 great. Your presence is definitely uh, recognized and, and it's important here. I'm really grateful for you guys. Thank you. That's what we're trying to do. Just, you know, build a legacy, um, you know, and really show the parents how important it is to be involved. That You don't just pop up in your scholar's life when things are going wrong. Mm. You got to be in there consistently if you can. Right. Because everybody has different family situations and they may not have that availability. But we are blessed enough to be able to do that. Um, and we have that flexibility in our time. And so that's how we like to spend it. Um and making sure that, you know, um, like like Luvinia said, the um, the voice of the parents um, and the voice of the scholars are heard. Awesome. I think that's a good segue into the next question. So uh, what motivated you to join the PTA? And uh, what do you find most rewarding about uh, being a member? <laughs> uh, look, I've been on PTA since 20, my, last, chi- last, right, last. Since my child. <laughs> Who is going to be a senior? Who is now a senior? I've been on PTA since he's been in second grade. So mm. I've been, I am PTA. <laughs> so, so what would you say your experience being a PTA member at John Dewey High School? How does that compare to maybe some of the other schools that you've been involved in? You know, to be honest, I'm kind of bored. Ah. In elementary school, you're way more involved. Like yeah. you take care of everything, the senior stuff, all the activities. It's on PTA ah. administration. Just says, go ahead. We'll just sign off on stuff here. We're not as we're needed, but it's not in so much of a heavy capacity. Right. So I'm like, oh, I want to do more stuff. But there's just not that because you guys have so many hands to do it here. I was gonna mm-hmm. say because D- Dewey has, yeah. they got their stuff together. Yeah, you know, so we're so. not like <laughs> yeah. we're here. Was like, yeah, okay, over there. So we're just making ourselves more known. But I'm used to busy being helping with carnivals and doing all that stuff. Yeah, we've um, I think well, so if for those who don't know. 
Mike and I, um, we share a child. <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> so we've been involved in the PTA since elementary school as well. Yeah, you know, very involved, heavily involved parents. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's that's the the driving force behind wanting to continue involvement in just not your own child's life, but everyone else's. Yeah. You, know, you never know who you might impact. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And I think that's part of the motivating factor for me behind even becoming an educator, right? Is like we in a, in a school you you have a big impact on students lives so you know when young people they are very uh, malleable right they're very impressionable and this is like really the time to uh Absolutely. make a imp- uh, positive impact and we look forward to being like those adults that they that they lean on yeah. you know like shout out to to, to dylan and chloe who right. always come through well, and they come mm-hmm. every you know time and they show you the light. and we want to mention this you know, you know, people swag the pants. They do the swagger. But when they come to our office, they pull up their pants before they come into our room. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, yeah. you know, the respect mm-hmm. mutually has been. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've built relationships with a lot of the kids. Yeah, I mean, so they, yeah. Again, we've been on we've been on the PTA, you know, since uh, the previous school year. So right. we've gotten to know a lot of the students. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, you know, at first, you know, the kids don't know who you are, but then they get to know you. And it's like there's a level of respect that has now been earned. That, yeah, that's interesting. I think that <clears throat> it's interesting probably from the student's perspective looking at a parent as opposed to even a teacher or uh, a staff member, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I would like to ask you guys, uh, how does uh, the PTA collaborate with teachers and administrators uh, to support student success and enhance the school community? So what are some of the things that you guys have done with uh, our administration and teachers? So we um, we all share um, responsibility on different uh, committees uh, around the school. So we're on the school leadership team. Um, and so I'm the chair of the school leadership team. And Lou is my co-chair on the SLT. Um, Marshall also participates on the school leadership team. And then we have um, the PAC, Title I, um, which is actually probably the biggest um, area where we collaborate with the teachers because mm. we have to look at the comprehensive education plan and all of the fiscal planning and this year we had about eighteen thousand yes, dollars to spend yep. oh, wow. so we had about eighteen thousand dollars to help the the school to collaborate with the school on how we were going to spend that down in educational workshops um and engagement parent engagement with um with the families of the school and how they were going to collaborate with the teachers so um and then there's also um we uh, sit on like um this the city the CECC, so that's some right. <laughs> the chancellors. Oh, the, yeah, the chancellors yeah. educational <laughs> committee, something or other. You know, those, you know those, one other of those long, long meetings. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. So, the long meetings. Yeah, so we, I get it. We, no one gave out any snacks there. <laughs> right. So we, um, you know, and we have uh, a lot of. Um, I think we have a, a big voice um, mm-hmm. on both of them, specifically PAC and SLT. Right. Um, and that, you know, SLT is where we decide, you know, when you're going to have an extra day off, like SAT day. Right, <laughs> you right. Know? right. Um, so we, we're part you're of welcome. that decision. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we just, you know, we help. We're, we're like you said, um, how the intro started, we're key stakeholders here. And we really help make decisions um, about a variety of different things. But... Um, I don't know anything else. Oh, we okay. forgot about the uh, the security meetings that we like to take part. Oh, right, we're in the safety meetings, safety so meeting. you know uh, to you know know what's happening again. So when we do have our PTA meetings, we have the information to share with the parent community. So you know if they have those you know questions like you know what's happening now that you know the Muslim students are now able to have a room for their prayer. That's something at our next meeting that we mm. will share with the school community because that's something new that just happened. And I'm sure they'll have questions because we've been asked before about, you know, different things with them. And so just to be a part of those conversations, to have stats on how the school's doing as a whole, you know, percentage right. wise, graduation wise, all those things. Parents sometimes don't know how to ask exactly. So if we have the data, we can give them, you know, a cliff note version. They're like, oh, Okay, okay, okay. And if you have additional, then we know where to send them so they know what information they need to get. Right, right. Um, could you guys maybe share like a memorable uh, success story, like one particular memorable success <laughs> story? We have a success story, but then it, it, the success then turned into a challenge. But um... <laughs> the pants, the pants. <laughs> I'm, like we see them walking in. And as soon as they touch that border of our door, 
even the kids are mine. Hey, you got to pull your pants up. You can't go in there with like that. So they're reminding their friends not to come inside like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that they come actually... inside and speak. Good morning. Right. Hello. Thank right, you. Right. You're welcome. What? Yeah. So, you know, even, you know, speaking to that, even, you know, today was a great example of mm-hmm. that where one kid actually yelled at one of his friends, hey, pull your pants up. You can't come in here like that. And there were a lot of other students or scholars that came in this morning and, you know, pleasantries. Mm-hmm. Hey, how are you doing? You know, before they, they would just walk in and beeline straight for the snack table and not look up and not acknowledge us. And so that's taken some adjustment. Mm-hmm. But I think the kids, the kids have also adjusted as well. Yeah. Um, as for other success stories, I mean, <laughs> the snack sales have been mm-hmm. uh, 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 probably mm-hmm. critical. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, we've been, you know, with the flexibility that we've been able to have, you know, we've shown right. up to- Minus some soup. Cups, right? Mm. <laughs> Minus the the, the cup of noodles. About, still about that. You know, we've 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 showed up to various events. Um, you know, basketball games. I think last yes, last yes. last year mm-hmm. there was a huge wrestling tournament here mm-hmm. from on, for, on a Saturday morning from like seven and three. You know, we were here with our usual snacks. We had uh we had coffee, we had tea. You know, we had everything, Fruit. fruits. Right. Um, mm-hmm. it was a long day, but it was a successful day. Um, robotics the fact tournaments. Yes, yeah, robotics. Yeah, yeah. We're forgetting about all that as well. Mm-hmm. Um. But for the most part, I say beyond beyond the sales, um, you know, the fact that the kids and also the administrative staff, you know, have gotten to know known us. And, yeah. You know, I mean, thankfully, we we have the flexibility. Not, not a lot of parents can say that they they can take a day off from work, spend the day at their kid's school. It's not common. So. I'd say that's probably the, the biggest thing is, you know, and I'm big on building relationships as well. So being able, you know, even the staff, Hey, how you doing, Mike? Or, you know, or the kids, Hey, Sam's dad. Or, hey, Mr. Mike. <laughs> right, right, right. It, you know, it goes, a, it goes a long way for, for me because my parents couldn't take off from work and come spend the day at, <laughs> at high school. That was unheard of, you know? So, um, the, the involvement is, is a, is a huge deal. I don't know if we should consider it our success, but we're a part of it. Uh, that, that, um, Incoming students day when the uh, summer happened. bridge. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, we came out and it was. That's I'm right. sure the parents were happy to see that their parents involved mm-hmm. here, welcoming, yeah. showing them, you know, where to go, where to, to just point them in the right direction and getting right. things done. There, there was also a lot of uh, uh, language, different languages yes. that we did. We had to shuffle to yes. figure out who to speak. So that was a successful day to me because yes, we were here as parents trying to make sure those parents felt welcome right? yeah. into a space that they're not, you know, and then that was to, new to them. Right. And, and as hectic as that day yeah. was, yes. we definitely made it, made it work. You We've, know, we, we were able to get, you know, uh, pull some six. students, uh, you know, who were fluent in other languages to help out. It was uh, Mandarin, Cantonese, Russian, you know, and we were all here in the library mm-hmm. trying to group some folks together I remember and, and we that had day. one student yep. translating yep. for the other families and whatnot. So it was a it was a it was a great day. It was busy, but it was yeah. a great day that the fact that, you know, the 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 anxious parents were able to finally just sit down and, and understand because English was a second language for them. Right. Mm-hmm. No, and I think that's something that's so uh incredible and remarkable about you guys and the work you do is like you guys are kind of like the advocate for the parents as well, right? Mm-hmm. You you kind of have all the knowledge of the school. Um, you've been involved and um, you can point other parents in the direction that they need to, to advocate for their own child. Mm-hmm. And, um, and we don't get paid for it. So right. We do right. It volunteer folks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Volunteer. We do it out of love. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And it makes an impact. It really does. It makes a difference. So uh, the things you guys do are really greatly appreciated. And like I said, your presence is felt uh, in the schools. So. Thank you. And this is why, you know, the, the, the e-board will always hear me, you know, scream about parents uh, showing up to the PTA, the monthly PTA meetings. Um, we need more parents on the call. I know we have the resources on the website, but, you know, if the time, if you have the time at 6 p.m., was it 6 p.m. or 6.30, mm-hmm. Six. right? We have Zoom, join the call, ask questions, yeah. or just join the call because, you know, you have an issue with your student. You know, just come and just join and get your your other parents that you might know, get them to join too. I think mm-hmm. everybody needs to be, um, you know, more involved. I know a lot of parents tend to, you know, be more hands off as their kids get older. And I think you still need to be very much involved. They don't know anything. They're still figuring it out. Yeah. You know. So I, I like to, you know, 
I think the shining star for us is when whenever I have the meetings with the um, superintendent. And, you know, I think Julie, Julie is a shining star um, throughout Brooklyn South. You know, he always comments about how successful the school is and how successful the PTA is. And, you know, we 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 kind of question, you know, when we have 44 parents or 52 parents on the call. Mm -hmm. But compared to other schools in Brooklyn South, they, don't, they can't function because they do not have a full functioning e-board mm. or active parents. And so, um, you know, I'm thankful for the, the for the consistent parents and even for the ones that pop in, you know, even if they are complaining, they popping in. Right. And right. Then that means that they're listening. That means that they're paying attention. And so if we can continue to do that, we are senior parents, so, so, um, so we're, we're, we're gone. <laughs> we're out of here. Yeah, we're out of here. So, um, if we can continue to get more parents involved to continue this legacy and making sure that their scholars are um, achieving and succeeding, and then the, the the collaborative relationship with the school community, everybody wins. I think this is a great segue into uh, one of my one of my last questions. <laughs> okay. um, how do you see the role of the PTA evolving or growing in the future, especially in response to uh, the changing educational landscapes? Mm. Right. Well, I mean, we're facing that challenge now <laughs> in terms of you know we've been trying to uh, I wouldn't say coerce but recruit recruit mm -hmm. you know <laughs> yeah. we. <laughs> to, to establish a nominating committee we've asked questions about you know if anybody would be interested on you know previous uh parent teacher uh i'm sorry yeah pta meetings mm -hmm. um and you know it's it's crickets um unfortunately mm. and i think the fact that i think there are people who you know either they don't have the flexibility to to be involved um they may be afraid of the work that's involved because right. it's not just, hey, I'm a member of the PTA and that's it. You know, there, there are meetings, you know, again, relationship building with, with you all. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. But I so, also think there should be a little, um, and I'll advocate for this for the next year, six o'clock is hard. Yes. Six o'clock is a hard time hard for time. folks to get to, mm -hmm. especially if you're in Midtown Manhattan, for example. Right. Um, and we're here on the south side of Brooklyn. And so to get from Midtown Manhattan to Bay 50 yeah. on a D train a by ride. six o'clock is a monster. And many people don't have that flexibility. Um, so, you know, advocating for a different, either a different day or a later time. Right. Um, you know, we we were just following in, in the footsteps of our predecessors. And so, and we had the, that right. ability, we had that flexibility, so we never changed it. Mm -hmm. But I'm just thinking if that, maybe that is a barrier to more parent involvement. And so I think the role in, in what we look like in the future might be splitting because we actually have a four o'clock meeting on the same day as the PTA meeting, oh, the wow. SLT meeting. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, I, I, I also COVID, the, the monster that it was um, showed that there could be some flexibility um, in in how you ex access people. So, you know, hybrid meetings and things like that. Understanding that the school in the city specifically wants to move to full in person, then if that is happening, um, we need to be as a school community a little bit more flexible in the time timing of our meetings. Right. I think here we're we're lucky with Miss Adele. Um, yeah. I yeah. think you know she's very accommodating. She 100%. wants to include you guys and make sure that you have a voice in the community. So one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. We're just we're hoping that you know the the folks that do take the reins, you know, um, want to be as involved as we have been for the you know for for the two years that we've been on on the PTA. Yeah. And so for any uh, prospective uh, PTA members listening to this right now, know <laughs> that you do have a, a supportive administration mm -hmm. here and yes. supportive teachers and uh, faculty members who uh, want you to be involved and, and are willing to accommodate and um, uh, make some changes and listen to your feedback on how we can do that. Mm -hmm. So absolutely, mm -hmm. if, you have, um, if you have the means, you know, your job allows you to be flexible. If you, you can work from home or your boss says you can work from anywhere, you know, please, you know, we, we, we would like for you to, to volunteer in whatever capacity mm -hmm. um, that you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. So I guess we'll, we'll kind of start winding down. Uh, lastly, uh, what message or advice would you like to share with our school community about the importance of parent involvement and support? Mm, good question. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I said, be, that, right? <laughs> like I said, you know, I mean, as I said earlier, you know, I think that, you know, a lot of parents, 
you know, tend to be more hands off as their kids age. And I yeah. think you need you. They still need to be handheld, um, you know, not so much a helicopter parent, but they still need guidance, lots yeah. of guidance. Um, just just getting through life. You know, they're the young adults, you know, 16 or, or 14 through 17, 15, you know, whatever the, the four year age range is. They don't know anything. You know, they're still figuring out just as a lot of, you know, adults ourselves are still figuring things out. Nobody has right. all the answers. Right. So, you know, for the parents that, you know, feel that, you know, you should be hands off and let your kids figure it out. I, you know, my personal opinion, that's, that's not the way you should be involved. Again, ask them questions, how they're doing, what what kind of mental struggles might they be dealing with. It's, mm. it's a different mm -hmm. world uh, than when we came up. So, yeah, that, you know, those questions are, are very important. Yeah, I think that, that was actually what I was going to, you know, speak to in terms of like the message for the school community is um, getting parents more involved in that SEL, you know, the social and emotional learning mm. um, and making sure that um, we are engaging parents in that because it's, it's hard out here. I think that's um, a really good point. Yeah, it's hard out here. And so how do we I think, you know, to your point earlier, Mr. Butler, um, Mrs. Adele, um, is extremely supportive of the PTA. And then we also have, you know, administ um, staff like um, Melissa Megerman and, and Barbie, mm -hmm. um, Assistant Principal Barbie Frias, and, and even um, Christine Gattuso. And so we have a lot of folks that we can call on when we need something. But I'm also thinking that, you know, we have a lot of parents that themselves are struggling through that social and emotional part and emotional yeah. intelligence. And so right. how do we support our children in that as well? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And I think also, you know, a lot of parents say, well, that's a lot of work. Know that PTA, we're collective. We're not, it's not one person doing everything. Mm -hmm. um, this particular board has five of us on here. So if one person can't do it, we adjust, we keep in communications. Um, can you fill in? Can we do this? Who can be available for it? And we alternate, you know, um, SLT, for example, not all of us come in person. We pick a time somebody has to be in person and the rest of us are online if that's what's, you know, what we can do. But it's still a collective. We still have to all work together to find this one goal <laughs> thing. I think a lot of time people just think PTA is just one person. You're just doing all this one thing. Right. And it's um, not like that. Mm -mm. You know, somebody may be, want to be the chief. But all we need is really Indians. You right. know, co-Indian, you know, whatever it is. And and the technology that we have has definitely allowed us to be, you know, super collaborative. Yeah. You know, we have a, mm. uh, we have, you know, we created our own WhatsApp group chat. So mm -hmm. it's like, hey, you know, we can have real-time conversations. It doesn't require a phone call. And we have our, our monthly e-board meeting. So right. you know, it's never, like, you know, Lou said, it's not just one person. You know, if you got a solid team, you know, you can make things happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And everyone supports each other on the team. Yeah. You know, no one's fighting for power or anything like that. We're, mm -hmm. we're, you know, we're, we're effective. Yeah. yeah. It takes a village. Mm -hmm. It absolutely that. does. So parents got to step up in, for their children. Always mm -hmm. don't just push them to school and, oh, but school take care of it. No, it doesn't work yeah. that way. You have to be involved too. It's coming in just now. Yeah, you got some big <laughs> yes. issues to fill. But be because yeah. again, the four of us are gone in yes. June. Mm -hmm. The four of us here in this podcast, we are we are gone. Mm -hmm. So um at our next PTA meeting, we are going to ask for folks to be part of the, mm -hmm. the nominating committee. Mm -hmm. Um and then, you know, the nominating committee are those that are, do not wish to Run. be on PTA. Mm -hmm. Um and then we're going to have elections, I think, in May. Yes. Right. Um Drop and then that again for the meeting. I don't remember what day it is, but the second, the second Wednesday, second Wednesday. So uh, once we do the elections and, and folks have, you know, nominated themselves for president, uh, vice president. And also there can be two presidents so there can be a co-president. There can be a co-vice president. Um, you have your recording secretary. You have your uh, technical support liaison. And who am I missing? I feel like I'm missing treasurer. Treasurer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, those roles, they're all important. Um, and then once we have, you know, that crew, um, we're going to start the handshake process, <laughs> you know, bank records, this, that, everything that, that, that has been documented or access to Instagram, access to, you know, everything that we have email. Um, and then we're going to say, you know, bid you farewell and so wish you the best. We would love for folks to, to be involved. Um, and you know, as we care, we do not want to see the PTA die. The next PTA meeting is on Wednesday, April 17th. At All right, so there's a date, Wednesday, April 17th. So uh, I know when this goes out via talking points, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Whoever chooses to listen this far, please show up. Mm -hmm. That's you it. know, 
the alerts will go out uh, via talking points. There will be, I think there's usually a notification on the school's website, mm-hmm. johndeweyhighschool.org with the Zoom information. Um, please join if you can. Um, and uh, you can also find us on Instagram, uh, John Dewey BK PTA. The school already has their Instagram account, John Dewey BK. And this, uh, similar announcements get posted there as well. So if, if your kid is on social media, you can always ask them for their phone and go look at look it up if you're not on Instagram yourselves. That was awesome. So I want to thank you guys so, so much for your thank time you. and for everything you. that you do um, in the school community. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. It's been a pleasure working with all of you. This was a great idea. Things that, <laughs> yeah, it I was. Love, I love the way this came together at, at the last next, last yep. short Thursday. Yep, yep. Next short Thursday is May the 2nd. May 2nd. So, sorry, we will not see you guys in April for short, for short sales, but we'll be here in May. Yes. All Thanks right. again, folks. Thank you. Take care. Do we out? That was good. That was cool. That was Should we wipe it down again? I gotta oh, fix something I over here. Something I, think on I think it's. I think it's the speaker wire. I think that wire there. Oh, is this? Is the speaker wire. Is it on? That's that's. Where